just off the coast of Oman, a coastline that our ancestors may have passed along, except that 70,000 years ago the coast wouldn't have been there because the sea level was much lower. It was up to 50 kilometres in that direction. And Jeff Rose thinks that the key to our ancestors' journey along this coast lies at the bottom of the sea. One of the strangest things about Arabia is we have this dry surface, this completely arid landscape, and yet beneath the surface there are, there are heaps of fresh water that's bubbling toward the coast, running toward the coast, and coming up directly beneath us. So right down below, if you were to dive down with a canteen, you could fill it up with fresh water and have a drink. So the springs down there are still working today? They're still working today. There are heaps of fresh water coming toward the coast. Only when the sea level was lower would it have been available. So it really shows why that coastline was so important for the early humans moving out of Africa. So, around 70,000 years ago, the Arabian coastline was very different to today. Freshwater springs bubbled up all the way along it. If our ancestors attempted this route, they would have found a lifeline. Stretching all the way from the Red Sea to the Persian Gulf a place which back then was a great fertile plain. So the Gulf as we know today didn't exist. It was, a, it was a vast, green, lush plain. Green and lush. You had estuaries and rivers and lakes. It was probably the most important place in, in Southwest Asia for all of, all of early humans because of so much fresh water that was available at that time. So they had everything they needed for survival. Well, it sounds idyllic. It was. Finding the route that our ancestors took out of Africa has been challenging. But I really think that this could have been it. And it's perhaps no wonder, with the obstacles they faced, that there seems to have been just one successful attempt. A massive leap in our ancestors' journey. Africa was the original home of our species, and it was our only home for tens of thousands of years until a small handful of people made their way out of Africa. And it was their descendants that went on to colonize the rest of the world. I'm going to try to trace their footsteps as we continue on the great human journey.